All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, book, with a brand new Life After Navy episode. And in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how the US Navy has changed me. And this is actually a video response to my boy, part of the uh, Navy Vet Vloggers, JT Suits. So, um, he did a similar video not too long ago, and today I'm gonna be doing a response to it. So, uh, I came up with five things that the uh, US Navy has changed about me and uh, we're gonna be going over them. And these are in no particular order, by the way, so these are just, bah, whatever. <laughs> so, the first uh, thing that the Navy has changed about me is patience. I was always a very patient guy in life, uh, aside from a few incidents here and there, um, but the US Navy has really helped, uh, helped me perfect that, I'll say, because you, you tend to deal with a lot of bullshit in the military, and you have to deal with rapidly changing schedules and just the overall dynamics of the military will help you in uh, tempering your patience, especially if you are stationed overseas. So, and I noticed this, you know, working at McDonald's now. Uh, one of my coworkers said, you know, hey Andy, you're, you're really an uh, even-tempered, calm guy. Nothing really gets under your skin, despite, you know, all the negativity and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, because, you know, I think the Navy has helped me uh, focus on what's important in the uh, the overall grand scheme of things and not you know focus on this little negative aspect and stuff like that so that's a really good quality I think about my time in and uh, let's see here number two I can function on little to no sleep now like I said before um, my uh, pre Navy experience um, I was able to function on a uh, fairly low amount of sleep, but then again, my definition of a low amount of sleep before the Navy was maybe five to six hours, <laughs> and uh, now I can function on just a couple of hours, really. Um, I'm not very good with like cognitive stuff, so I can't really do thinking work on little to no sleep, but I can do like basic um, manual stuff, just stuff where I don't have to think a lot. But if you're, you know, looking to analyze things and stuff like that and want a good, you know, thinking answer to something, probably best to uh, not give me one. I've only had a couple hours of sleep. But I can still do most other things on little to no sleep because, you know, being in the military, you have uh, rapidly changing uh, sleep schedules, mostly due to uh, watch rotation because uh, in Sonar we had rotating watch. So it wasn't like we had fixed teams from this time to this time, you know, if you were on watch from this block, it would get cycled down later and later. That way, uh, you know, the other watch teams, I guess, could get more sleep because in certain blocks of the watch section, you get more sleep, others you don't, and some you have to go to sleep right after you eat, and it just kind of is what it is. So you got to learn to function on that. <laughs> so now that I'm out, I'm able to do fairly well with just a couple hours of sleep, but uh, that's only if I have to. Now I can get as much sleep as I want, pretty much. <laughs> so, we got uh, number three, confidence. Um, I was never a very confident person at all, growing up or even in the Navy, but I do have to say that I'm a lot more confident now, and I don't know if that's just simply age or being in the military or maybe little column A, little, col little of uh, column B, but uh, I feel like I'm a much more confident person in myself and in how I uh, deal with things. And I also notice this more on camera as well, because a lot of my early videos, you know, I'm very kind of reserved and stuff like that, but you know, ever since, ever since I'd say 2012-ish, 2012, 2013, I was able to uh, project myself a lot better in videos. And you know, with all these re-uploads and stuff going up on my channel, I notice it a lot more. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, you know, it's crazy. So now we got number four. I can socialize better. And like with confidence, I was never a very social person, very much an introvert. None of this introverted extrovert bullshit. <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely an introvert. As as anybody who's met me in real life can attest to. So while I'm perfectly fine talking with friends and stuff like that, but talking with people that I don't really know all that well, 
you know, I don't really talk a whole lot. I do, I do more listening than I do talking. But I guess it just depends on what's going on. But being in the military, you kind of have to learn to socialize with, you know, the people you work with because they're pretty much all you talk to while you're out and about at sea. And uh, if you want to go to those nice Liberty ports, you got to at least convince one other person to go with you, right? So, uh, little, uh, little social skills never hurt nobody. So, uh, there you go. And uh, the last one on here is teamwork. That kind of goes hand in hand with the socialization thing. But teamwork in this case is more of a uh, business aspect as opposed to a personal aspect. You know, being in the Navy, being in the military in general, you work with a lot of different people from all walks of life. You know, they got different backgrounds, different age groups, different genders, all that stuff kind of mixed into one. So you gotta learn to work together because you're pretty much all you have. Now that I'm out, I'm able to, you know, work a lot better with all kinds of different people. You know, I'm not all hung up on, oh, I'm not gonna work with this person because they said something about me, you know. You know I just kind of, you know, put all that stuff aside and, you know, when I'm at work, it's business. So, yeah, just kinda is what it is. So there you go, those are five ways the US Navy has changed uh, different aspects about me so um, if you're a, a military veteran and you want to list some ways that your time in the service has changed you feel free to uh, leave a little something something in the comments below in the boopy boop or by all means leave a video response uh, and just put a link to it or whatever and uh, I'll be sure to uh, to approve it because I know sometimes YouTube lists links as spam so I'll have to like check it to make sure it's not spam but if it's not spam then uh, I'll prove it so no worries <laughs> so anyway I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video and watching my other stuff also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs commenting subscribing sending a few friends to the party and hey as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye